Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Greg Tech from Scratch. This is Ederald and today I will be showing you how automation in Greg Tech works. I'll be teaching you how to use machines to move items around, to craft things automatically and some other stuff as well. First off I'm gonna start with the most complex machine which is the inventory manager. This is how the inventory manager looks. It has a different color on each of its six sides and this is the interface. Now the colors here, which by default they're all set to red, correspond to the different sides. So right now they're all pointing at the um, red side. To change it you can click on the buttons on the, bo uh, on the, buttons on the bottom. Just left click and um, it'll, the color will change to indicate that you're now interacting with that particular side and the letters correspond to the uh, cardinal directions plus the top and the bottom so you can see what direction that color is pointing to at the moment now to the right of these slots here uh, you get these buttons as well which you can change with left click and they're interacting with the slots inside the machines so for example when it's set to B it means it's interacting with the bottom slot of whatever machine um, the blue side is attached to. The arrows here have two settings which you can change with right click. If it's in green it means it's taking items. So it's taking items right now from the bottom slot of the blue side. If it's in red it means it's putting items into. So it's putting items right now into the bottom slot of the blue side. Now I'm going to show you a practical example so you can see it in action. I'm going to put a chest in the cyan side and on the yellow side. And I'm going to set it up so it moves items from this chest to this one. So first we want to move, uh, press the buttons until we get the cyan side and it, it really, really doesn't matter where you, ha you do it just as long as you make sure it's um, somewhere and now we got the yellow side and I wanna tell it to extract from the bottom side of the cyan uh, attach inventory and the side could be any because you can extract from any side of the chest and I want it to put it into the yellow attach inventory so I just gotta change it to uh, red and the side again doesn't matter now for this to work you gotta always block the slots you're not using so I'm gonna use something that I don't see ever appearing on my, uh, you know, on my chest that I, I don't think it's ever gonna appear so I'm just gonna put it there and now this should work now what this does exactly is it's taking um, items from the bottom slot of the inventory attached to the cyan side and additionally from the red side here is just simply configured like that by default and it's gonna put them into the top slot of the inventory or machine attached to the yellow side so let's test the theory let's put a chest in here uh, and it takes a few seconds it doesn't do it instantly it should disappear and it should have moved it here all right now let's check the filter functionality now by default if you don't put any items in these slots um, it's just gonna take everything but you can also set it so it only takes or puts certain items so let's try it out with some refined iron and some normal iron now if we were to put some refined iron in this slot it means it's only gonna put refined iron into the top slot of the yellow side um, of course you can change this number by right clicking or left clicking and shift uh, clicking or shift right clicking will increase by 8 and let's see here in action let's put some iron here some refined iron and let's, let's put some normal iron now let's see what happens the refined iron has gone through and the normal iron has been put into the internal buffer because it doesn't know where, where it goes um, alternatively, what you can do is set up the input filter so it only takes refined iron. If you uh, put refined iron here, 
to extract and then you block the other slots which you always have to do, remember uh, then it's only gonna take refined iron from this slot and it's not even gonna touch the iron ingot it's not gonna put it into the internal buffer because it's not in the filter now um, those are the basics of the inventory manager and um, you know the slot functionality can be useful for filling machines like the grinder or the uh, industrial blast furnace or even miners you could have an inventory manager that puts uh, mining pipes into the top slot of a miner and some drills into the sides or something there's infinite potential for this machine let's take a look at the simpler machines of Gregtech we've got the electric crafting table what this machine does is if you give it a recipe on the um, in the black slots it's gonna detect what it does and it's gonna show it on the top right and if you put some wood in these nine slots or whatever other materials you need it's gonna craft it automatically by using some um, energy now you can extract simply by putting a chest on the output side which is the red side and it's just gonna put the items in there or there you go um, this machine has many different modes let's take a look so if you click on the arrow you get to this mode which basically tries to package things uh, first it's gonna te uh, check if the um, recipe can be crafted with one slot which in this case can be because um, it's a button and then it's gonna check if it can be crafted with four and then with nine and it's gonna try to craft it like that uh, if you only want it to use the one slot recipes then you can just switch to this mode next mode uses a uh, two by two grid so it won't try to craft buttons in fact just by putting one wood it detects it as a crafting table and it just crafted it and next mode it only crafts with nine uh, with a three by three grid that's good for like things like nuggets uh, next mode looks like kind of DNA what it does is it takes things like nuggets from mods that are not Greg Tech and it will turn them into the version of Greg Tech which is this one and you can see it, it, it transformed them so it's kind of like the forged dictionary block but it's the Greg Tech version next mode is the dust mode if you have tiny piles of dust uh, it will turn them into the big s um, versions of the piles that's all it does and I'm not sure what the advantage is over the packaging mode uh, so maybe it's just it, it works the same maybe it's so that you don't package things that are not uh, tiny piles I don't know next mode is this weird looking icon if you put some a stack of copper nuggets is just gonna make them into ingots um, and that's how the crafting machine works uh, this mode here this button here affects whether items and or energy is being transferred the lighting bolt means energy is be, uh, this block is transferring energy it gets uh, from uh, from other sources to its output side so if we put a bat box here for example you're gonna see that it's gonna start filling up because we've got it set up on the um, lighting icon and the other little icon is the item transfer if it's not off it's an, if it's not on then if you put a recipe inside and put some items to craft it's not gonna put them into the chest so you can turn them on or an, and off uh, however you you like and you know they'll do what you tell them to do next up we've got the electric translocator the electric translocator has an input side and an output side um, just as the electric uh, crafting table and these sides you can change with a wrench just like in every other machine you can shift right click to make that side the output side or you can right click to make that side the input side now this machine takes input from the um, 
each uh, for an inventory attached to the input side and takes it to a chest attached to the output side and you can configure what items it takes from one inventory to another by putting them in the hollow slots inside um, now we put a chest so if we attach inventories to the input side and the route output side and we put some chests inside it will move the chest from this inventory to the other one uh, it doesn't do it instantly it actually waits a little bit and then it moves the items um, if we use this button here we can invert how the filter works which means right now it will only take items that do not match the filter so any item that is not a chest will be moved from the input chest into the output chest and you'll see only the conveyor module will be will get transferred there you go uh, next up we've got the advanced translocator the advanced translocator has the same functionality as the electric translocator but you can specify what slots it's gonna take items from and what slots it's gonna put items into so if we got a chest on the input side and we tell it to take mining pipes from the west side of the inventory attached to the green um, side and then to put it on the up side of this inventory it would take mining pipes from the chest and put them into the miner there you go very useful in things like frame ships for example where uh, you know space is important and you wanna have a compact setup now we've got the electric sorter the electric sorter is a machine that has two outputs blue and, and red and basically uh, the blue output is going to be used for items you put in the filter and the red side is going to be used for items you do not put in the filter so if we got a chest here and a chest there and we've put chests here if we put some chests in the machine it's going to take them to the blue chest uh, to the blue side uh, if we put anything else like an electric sorter is gonna take them into the red um, into the red side now we've got the electric type sorter which instead of uses instead of using a 3x3 three three grid of hollow slots it's gonna use these icons which represent a certain type of uh, items in Minecraft um, the types you can see in the uh, wiki page for this item in the uh, Greg Tech wiki and basically it acts the same way if uh, this icon for example means ores if I were to get some uh, gold ore here and put it in the slot and then get myself some chests and attach them to the um, sides then the uh, ores are gonna go to the blue side here um, is this the blue side? no um, okay let's try that again there you go and anything that is not a ore it's gonna go into the red side um, the red side you can change with a wrench as usual by shift right clicking the blue side you can change by clicking on the deer button here and then it'll change um, position down of course if uh, you put them both in the same spot then that's not gonna be very useful now we've got the electric um, item clearer it acts kind of like a transposer in um, red power what it does it it sacks a 3x3x3 three by three by three area in front of it of any items that fall and it's gonna suck them in from the yellow face and it's gonna put them into the inventory attached to the red face so pretty big area and uh, it also it doesn't consume a lot of energy it's like 2 EU um, per, per item absorbed or something like that more machines we've got the buffers buffers um, take items from anywhere and put them on the inventory attached to the red face let's put some a chest in the red face let's put any item 
and boom. Took the item, put them, put it in the uh, in the chest. Uh, takes energy, so uses energy. There's an upgraded version that has 27 slots, and it acts exactly the same way. And finally, we've got on this uh, series of machines the advanced buffer. The advanced buffer can be given a number and the number corresponds to slots inside machines. So if we had a blast furnace, for example, attached to the advanced buffer, to the output phase, which is, uh, let's change it to here, or to here. Um, we use slot 0, for example, which is the top slot, and we put some gold ore, it's going to put it into the top slot. If we use slot 1, which is the bottom slot, it's going to put it into the bottom slot, and so forth. You can experiment f for each machine, uh, which slot corresponds to which. Uh, I think 0 is normally uh, the top slot, and you know you can check it out for, for yourself, for other machines. Okay, last machine of them all is the advanced regulator. The advanced regulator is very useful into giving machines um, items in exactly the order they need them. Um, it has nine hollow slots here where you can put items. Let's try for example um, some ores, some box boxit ore, and some pyrite and uranium. You can just put them here. And let's try some water cells as well. Um, and as you can see the output side is attached to a blast furnace which has some items already. Now these hollow slots here on the uh, middle grid correspond to the slots on the right grid. And right now it's you're telling it basically to put these four items into the top slot of the machine or inventory attached to the uh, output phase. Um, for, an, for a grinder here, what you would want to do is put the water cells in slot 1 which is the bottom, and the rest, all the ores, into uh, slot 0. So if I put some water, it's going to instantly put it into the slot you configured, which is 1, that's why it went to the bottom, and if you put some ores, it's going to put them into the top slot. And otherwise, it, they, if they don't fit, it's just going to store them here. And if you take them out, it's going to instantly put more ores inside. So uh, it can be really useful. So, those are all the automation machines in GregTech. Hope you enjoyed watching and see you next time.